Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to City Skylines, where we do our level best to keep the citizens under control. And on that theme, last time we focused on security a bit, making a spy agency, and a secret high security prison, for if anyone gets any silly ideas. And with things secure again, we're gonna get back to making a profit, because even $650,000 a week is not enough. So today, we're gonna look into tourism and turn this huge area into a number one destination spot for vacationers. And of course, we're gonna have to figure out how to hide the actual city from them as well. But I'm sure we'll figure it out. And if you're excited for this, remember to leave a like. And as we're getting started here, let's check out the budget. Let's see, tourism is about 3% of our total income. So let's see how high we can make that number. And let's go a little extreme with things. So this whole area, again, is gonna be a tourist area. And we're gonna focus on bringing people in via harbors. Harbors are like cruise ships and just ships for people to sail into the city. And we're gonna make a huge place for a bunch of harbors right in here. And then we have our city's airport, the NVA, right next door. So this is a prime location, so long as we can make a safe bay properly. But then we'd want the ships to come from over here, to scoot in over this way, and then park in here. Then on both the left and the right, we can have our little tourist things happening. Or maybe just ships on the left and the right, I'm not sure. We'll keep it nice and square. And I just realized now we probably caused the tsunami having all the water flood in like this. Oh. This could be problematic. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll just keep doing what we're doing. Profits are still up. You know what? A little bit of flooding. It's healthy. Hydrates the citizens. Okay, let's fit in the key as well. Something, something like that. That's just not like that. Can we fill that in? Yes. Good. Oh, and it looks like the city got a little lucky. There is no flooding at all. Okay, but this is a general idea. And after only a little bit of flooding, this is it. We are good to go. So we can have like a separate tourism district like over here, or like a different theme. And then on the right we can have another theme too, like we could have like a super nightlife kind of thing going on over here. And then something more chill on the left. Maybe. I'm not sure. Let's get in the harbors. How many can we fit? One, two... Cannot connect to root. What? What do you mean? Where's the root? Over here? What do you mean a ship can't just go through a mountain? Seriously? The pathing AI is just that simple? Okay. Okay. Didn't want to flood half my city and spend like two hours on this anyway. Can we not like move the shipping lane? We have like a move it mod. Ship? Move? Please? How do we select it? Did I actually just waste all my time on this? Are we gonna have to do something completely different? Dude. Okay, look. There are shipping lanes. But they just wouldn't get selected. There must be a mod for this. A mod that allows you to modify that shipping lane. If we could have that lane just go directly in front of this area, then we can build as many harbors as we want and make a lot more money. Oh my gosh, I am actually so mad. So, I spent like two hours on my Twitch live stream trying to figure out this issue live. Going through like a hundred different mods, and guess what? The mod we were initially using works for this. You just have to be in this transport screen, and then they show up! There are all the nodes. They're right there. So I didn't have to actually download anything, and I wasted... Gosh. Yeah, two hours of my life. Losing my mind. But luckily, if you're some kind of psychopath, you can, in fact, go to my VOD channel, link in the description, and watch the recorded live stream. And watch me suffer for whatever reason. Also, I'm trying to move the node here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The ships are trying to follow along to it. But then they're like, eh, eh, no, come on, go over this way, friend. No, it's over here. Come on. This is hilarious. No, come, come this way. How far can we drag this guy? Will more ships join? Come on. No, this way. This way. 
We want to take you to the bay, okay? Like, literally all the way over here. Do, <laughs> Do it. Yes. But yeah, again, the saved live streams are on the new channel. Link in the description. But it looks like this works. We could probably do a lot of fun memes with this. But main thing is, can we make money from this? We can now add all of these in now. Yes. We can add in as many as we like. Good. That's going to be highly profitable. Though I will make this look a lot better because this is kind of like crazy. Don't really want our cargo ships crashing into each other. Nor do we really want them going to our vacation area too. But I guess there's really nothing we can do. So for now I'll just fix this up and make it look a little bit more pretty. So I've tried my best to make it a little bit better. It's still kind of weird. So the ships will come in here. Then they'll just scoop by here, wave hello, and then scoop back out. It's okay. We are good to go and begin! So, harbors, number one. You know, we might only start with half the harbors we can actually fit in here. I think we'll just put, I don't know, four over here. Because, yeah, this side's going to be like the crazy party district. Like, we might move the casino over here, might make an amusement park, all that kind of jazz. And on the left, we'll have it be a bit more cozy and comfy. The main thing is, I really want to build a castle. There is this thing called the Castle of Lord Chirpwick, and the description reads, it's what every significant city needs. So naturally, we must have it. Also, it looks incredible. Look at this thing. It's like built on a cliff, you got towers and all the jazz. Amazing. Oh, and it's actually a monument. So monuments are like super overpowered late game things. And this one increases the attractiveness of all unique buildings by 25%. So considering we're trying to make more tourism stuff, this is the building we really want. But sheesh, just knows the price tag. Almost $2 million? Dang. It's gonna take a very long time to financially recover from this. So, I guess I should not have just placed it down already. Can I just move it out of the way for now? Yes. Good! Because it's a castle! It needs to be on top of a hill. We have this kind of like, I don't know, side thing here. And we're gonna make it into a big hill. So let's get to terraforming. Big hill, please. Yep, it's pretty good. <laughs> JK, but it's actually kind of in the direction we want to go. Like, we want it, we want this hill to be pretty tall. And ideally, We'd have this road break off and kind of wind around a mountain to get up to the top where the castle's going to be. So let's just arbitrarily say this is the height where the castle will sit. We'll have a little cliffside kind of like scooting down here-ish. Eh, maybe a road will fit there. That's going to take a long time to figure out, but that's pretty good. Castle, go back to your... <laughs> go into your pit! And then rise to your new location. So that's cool. And if we're having a castle, you know, I guess we could go with a medieval y kind of theme over here. Like European vibe. Because I kind of want to make like a village over here now. Oh, and this is exactly what we want. So we could just have this a little further down the mountain. And yeah, the castle rules over the people that live on the little street here. Isn't that nice? It's so quaint. And that way from this road, we can kind of scoot our way up the mountain here. And we'll have that road that goes around. Again, that's going to take forever to actually figure out, so we'll leave it. And then in front of here, there's also a cool clock tower looking thing. And the clock tower would go in front of the little village. Lastly, scooting through monuments, there's a sea fortress. Which I guess we'll put here. It's like we're by the sea. It's old timey. You know, big picture, I'd, I'd say all of this is kind of working. Now the problem is all the rest of the space. Because we could just zone like a giant commercial thing, right? And make it tourist-like. But if we do make it a tourist zone over there, what all the buildings end up looking like are these. Kind of has that, like, American tourist beach locale aesthetic. And that's not really fitting with, like, a castle and stuff. But hey, this is City Skylines. I'm sure a mod can fix all of our problems here. And in a shocking twist, of course there is a mod that would solve all of our problems, but there's also an in-game solution. But first, look at this. I managed to get all of the road done here. It's pretty cool. 
goes down to over here, clock tower there, little night street market, and I looped all the roads around here. But here's the thing that I just found out. You can go and make a district and you can designate it to be like tourism or whatever. And that'll change all the buildings in the area. But you can also change the district style. So instead of default, it can be European. Or as I was finding out, it could be like Berlin inspired or Spanish inspired or literally anything. You can do so much with this. So we're gonna set this to European and then we're gonna make some high density commercial zones. And watch what happens. <laughs> I didn't put the pipes in. I'm sure. I'm sure. Ah! <laughs> I thought I was getting better, guys. I thought I was. Power? Good. Now commercial buildings. Go. Like seriously, you have first dibs on a new tourism district. This, this, no rush. No big rush. At all. Oh my gosh, that took forever. But yeah, these buildings should look European now. Oh look, yep, it worked. This will be perfect. We can have like a mini Europe here underneath the castle. And better yet, when you do this for the first time, it unlocks a ton of extra stuff to build. Like the gherkin. Should we have a gherkin over here? <laughs> we have a giant European department store, city hall, churches, theaters. What's this? A hypermarket? And the London Eye, wow, we can even make the London Eye. Maybe we'll build that on the other side of our area here. That's so cool. And yeah, these are all in the game by default. You just have to make a section European style and then all of them are unlocked. Oh, and we have City Hall. Dude, we have to have City Hall here. That's like by law. We center that, good. Uh, this road, we're not gonna be able to square it away. Maybe it can just turn back into here. Okay. And we have this clock tower. And if, no, you know, we gotta move the clock tower too. We gotta move it over by the city. Why would it just be off on its own over here? Yeah, we could maybe have like a church there. Let's get rid of these buildings. Let's terraform a little bit have the clock tower beside the old street market which is oh yeah that is way better then all the people can actually just look up on the hill it's like hey what time is it <laughs> it's time to leave a like <laughs> i had to and we could have a church over here but being like lore accurate a church is like a center of the city kind of ordeal especially in europe so it'd be better to have like a church over here by the market too, you know, keep all the tourist destinations all in one spot. Then over this way, how about this? We could have a theater. Yeah, we have the theater by the water. It's kind of close by to this. And then this side could be a park. Just have the parking lot facing the road, please. Okay, why would they put the parking lot behind there? Oh, I just, I don't know what they're going with that. The road could be there, the road goes there. Excellent, we have a crosswalk. Everything is beautiful and perfect. Oh wow, we have a palace, Amsterdam Palace. I've seen this before, IRL. It is actually super beautiful. Uh, let's face it towards the sea. Good, pretty good. Don't really want part of the building in the middle of the street though, so I'll scoot that a little forward. And then beside the palace, we'll have some kind of park here. Or a fountain, a fountain of life and death. Yeah. At this point though, I I'm looking at all of the European stuff and I don't really want cruise ships on this side. At least, uh, my mind might change. Or I'm really leaning now to put all the cruise ships on the other side of the river. But then if the cruise ships are over here, how the tourists get over there? Well, if we're truly going with the European memes, there'd be a train, but instead, we're going with the better memes of a cable car going across the bay. So there'll be people traveling on a cable car, seeing all the cruise ships underneath. They'll go into like this little area and man, the tourists are gonna love it. They might even like it as much as I'm liking this European stuff. Dude, look at this little, look at this medical clinic. It's adorable. There's like a custom police station, medical clinic. There's a little fire hall, a little tower in there. <laughs> It's so funny. There's new stuff all over the game. Here's a uh, police headquarters. 
versus the uh, North American counterpart. I kind of like the European one more. What else was there? I think there's schools. We have like a high school. Uh, and then an elementary school. Look at this little shack. <laughs> Carl Heisenberg Schule? Heisenberg? Maybe it's a cooking school. <laughs> uh, good joke, me. Thanks, me. And then for the rest of this district, things are pretty much done and in place. I got this tower on a bit of an angle here. Start adding in pass. The church at the end of the road looks great. And it's gonna need some detailing pretty quick. Which of course means lots of happy little trees, along with a bunch of just general city parks like this. And then paths everywhere as well, like beside the castle. Like usually castles have like the big castle garden, but we'll probably not do something like that with this castle since the real estate on top of the hill is pretty sparse. So maybe just a path, some trees. Ooh, or something like this would be perfect. Yep, we have this Plaza of the Dead here. Like this Grim Reaper just staring down over the cliff at the rest of the city. Dude, that is metal AF. Then for the rest of the area, just a couple trees here and there. A couple of the cool purple ones to make it a little more interesting. Parking, of course. And then down the spiral road, I went through and detailed some more, adding in just more paths, more trees, picnic benches and parking, oh my. And the area is looking splendid. I would vacation here, JK. I would never enter my own city here. This place is psychotic. But hey, this area looks pretty nice for now. With all the trees, extra little things here and there. And yeah, even got a classic little graveyard at the end here to end it off. Except we're not done. Because the most important thing is, nobody can leave here. Nobody. Nobody. No one. If a tourist sees the actual reality of the city, we're screwed. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just make the entire cliffside very steep so it's not climbable. Also, it'll block the view of probably most of the rest of the city. But no matter what you do, there's always going to be those types that are like, Oh, we're on an adventure! Let's go explore! No. You're not. So here's a spiked fence. Then I'll probably add in a road or something that just leads way over here to a security checkpoint because of course we have to have a security checkpoint. Then we'll just put a forest between the tourist areas and then the fence. And then the fence just goes off a cliff. So I suppose people could escape technically, but I think we're doing our due diligence here. At the security point, I finish this all up so the road's all in and presumably security will stop tourists from escaping. However, there is a bus which will take people from this area all the way to the airport here. And that's kind of like the only way. Like someone could take that bus, go to the airport, and then just cross the bridge, maybe. That's why we built the secret prison in the mountains to handle people like that. Now we're about ready to get everything started. Just the last thing is we want to name the district. <laughs> I got a really good name suggestion while I was streaming, so we, we'll probably just end up using this one. But if you have a better suggestion, please leave it in the comments below. But we're gonna go with Oligmastein for now. But okay, we're ready to go. Let's let it rip. All the buildings are on. Everything's rocking and rolling. Let's double check our tourism. Went down to 2.5% of the income. Our weekly balance is gonna go down dramatically because these little tourism buildings cost a lot, like 1,200 a week. The castle, 3,200 a week, like bruh, it's nuts. But the tourists will come in and handle the budget shortfalls, probably. Oh, and look at the cable cars. Wow, that is actually horrific. I thought the cable car would like flatten out, like it was on a hinge or something, but no, no, that's gonna be a wild ride. Might lower that a little bit. <laughs> We'll see. Maybe that's just part of the fun. People just want to chill out over here. Nope. The most horrific cable car ride of your life is first. Any cruise ships though? No. Come on guys, check out the happy little village. It's so much fun. You're gonna love it. Go visit the castle. Oh, you know what actually would help them? A sightseeing bus. Let's add in a little sightseeing bus tourist place. Here we go. Yeah. That'd be cool. Look at how purple this is. Purple means it's super attractive and people want to see what's up. Now they can just jump on a sightseeing bus at any point, like here. 
Let's go up to there. To the castle. Just all around the town. Oh yeah, hey, look at the tourist bus. That is so cool. Just don't see anything you're not supposed to and have fun. Just dump your money in our city and all is well. Oh, and a cruise ship. Finally, money. How many people? A hundred passengers? That doesn't seem like a lot. Fair enough though, any amount of people is good. Welcome to New Venturium, the totally best city that is not corrupt. Wait, did not a single person leave the cruise ship? Oh my god. Wait, no, 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 there are people leaving. <laughs> oh yeah, lots of people leaving. Okay, so the cruise ship was just full because passengers from my city wanted to leave for whatever reason, and then the tourists got off to visit here. And money-wise, what's the budget looking like now? Oh, you saw it. It was like 7% of our income for a second there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 8%, almost 9%, $144,000? We're making $720,000 per week. That's what I'm talking about, dude. We're only getting started, man. This is half the project. Once we get the majority of this district built, oh boy. However, that's gonna be all for now, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching, but have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye